something like Jordan Play me like Spock This is why it's so important to wash your fruits. Do y'all see that? It's not focusing, but... Huh? Nah, I did Amazon Fresh. Hi, good morning. Can I have a pistachio latte, grande, and iced, please? Grande ice pistachio latte. What else for you? And can I have vanilla sweet cream cold foam? Vanilla sweet cream cold foam? Yes. Anything else for you? That'll be all. Alright, it's going to be 758 at the window. Thank you. $8. $758 to be exact. But $8 for Grande. It's going to be $758. You're so pretty. Thank you. Where? I love it. And like, I'm kind of a weenie. Uh -huh. And it didn't hurt, so. I love it. I want one so bad. No, you should. It would be so cute. I <laughs> Thank you it. so much. And it healed really well. That's good. Have a good one. Thank you, you too. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. I haven't actually gotten to, like, sit down and talk to y'all since I've started filming this week. Um, it is Tuesday, and I'm home today from work. Taking a sick day because this morning when I woke up, Noelle was running a fever. Well, she was running a fever yesterday. Her daycare told me that, well, it depends on what you classify a fever. I'm no doctor, so I don't really know. But um, her temperature was sitting right at 100 yesterday, and she was sneezing, and her nose was running, but it was running clear, so that wasn't really like a cause for concern for me so I decided to keep her home today to monitor her temperature and to also just to kind of give her like a recovery day because this morning I could tell that she didn't feel good and her temperature was still around 100 this morning so I gave her some Motrin and she's downstairs asleep right now she fell asleep on the way home from Starbucks good for me that means I get some quiet time and some alone time and some time to get myself together the house is a mess right now. There are toys everywhere in front of me, dishes that need to be washed. But right now, I'm just about to sit down and chill and enjoy my coffee, take a deep breath, watch some YouTube. I'm actually uploading a YouTube video right now, some late footage, just footage from December. And honestly, this is not how I wanted to start off my month as far as like content or my year, as far as content creation and YouTube specifically. Ideally, I wanted to have all of my December content uploaded by the first week of January, but here we are. The second week of January and I still have unedited Christmas Eve footage. But the vlog I just uploaded is from December 27th and December 28th. I have another unedited vlog that I'm actually probably going to start editing today from December 29th, the 30th, and I believe... Uh, new year's eve and maybe a little bit of new year's day so i need to start editing that soon i have a vlog from the last week in december but it was like a weekly vlog and i figured it would be way quicker to go ahead and edit these quick like days in my life vlogs which it is i edited the vlog that i'm about to post now pretty fast like I literally started working on it last night and finished it this morning and also I edited on CapCut desktop and it was so easy to use like I ran into no issues, no glitches, no problems. Final Cut Pro has been holding me back from being consistent because it seems like every time I'm close to finishing a project it glitches. Something happens, a library goes corrupt, media goes corrupt, I don't know but I've just been having the most the most issues with Final Cut Pro. And Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, I called Apple like four times, legit like four or five times. And I spoke with about three or four different people to try to help me figure out my issue, but the problem not solved. I still don't know what happened to my project. I edited in full, like it was exporting, almost ready to upload to YouTube. And it just failed like the export failed and now i can't even really open the library it's just corrupt 
So I was really upset, but you know what? I'm not gonna dwell on that because at this point, it's nothing I can do. I just have to keep rolling with the punches, re-edit it, will I trash it? I don't know, we'll see. In this video, I'm really just focusing on the healthy habits that I'm bringing into 2023. And it's not particularly this video, but this week that I'm filming, I'm kind of just getting adjusted to the new routine that I set for myself and trying to incorporate the new healthy habits that I would like to be consistent with into my daily life and my daily routines. So the top two things that I'm working on right now is improving my time management and also staying organized and being consistent. And here in my notes, I kind of jotted down some ways that I can achieve my goals and what I can do to help make progress. And also I jotted down a few of my goals for 2023. So I'll just go ahead and say a couple and some of these might sound like cliche, like a lot of these are common goals that you see among other people, but they're real life goals that I wanna achieve for a better and healthier lifestyle. So first I wanna start with getting back in the gym and starting my fitness journey, which also includes eating healthy. I'm off to a good start with that. I actually started going to the gym um, after Christmas, the last week in December, I attended my first two group fitness classes and I actually just went to the gym yesterday and my boyfriend has gone with me the past two times to, you know, kind of help me get back acclimated to using gym equipment and all that good stuff. So yeah, off to a good start with that. I've done a couple of grocery hauls since the new year, healthy grocery hauls. I'm trying to cut back on my sweetened drinks, which includes soda. So I've been replacing that with Olipop. I really need to try Poppy, but yeah. So I've been eating like slightly healthier. I wasn't like a terrible eater before, but I just wanna make a more conscious effort to be aware of what I'm putting into my body and to just make better food choices and healthier alternatives when I can. So like, for example, instead of taking regular potato chips to work for lunch or just snacking on them around the house, I bought some chickpea puffs. I haven't tasted them yet, so we'll have to see how they taste, but I imagine they'll be something like a Cheeto puff. And then I bought baked chips, which should be healthier. And as I already said, another example would be like cutting soda and doing the probiotic drinks or sparkling water or tonic drinks. And I'm trying to increase my water intake and the amount of protein that I eat and also green vegetables. I also want to start journaling in the mornings, maybe just doing like my five minute journal or um, filling out the gratitude journal that I made. I want to start journaling in the mornings and kind of just like starting my morning off better and being more intentional about how I spend my time first thing in the morning rather than just like hopping out of bed and rushing to get ready for work and you know just moving so fast paced. I want to kind of take it slow and give myself time to like wake up and actually enjoy the morning. So to help with that I created a time stamped routine and I actually wrote that down in my reminders app and speaking of the reminders app, that is one way that I'm staying organized. This year, I set up my reminders app thanks to Jose. She sent me some girl on Instagram that kind of did the same thing, but she presented me this idea. So I made a reminder list for morning routine, daily to-dos, personal bills, career, groceries, TikTok ideas, YouTube content ideas, and upcoming dates and appointments. So. I made a time stamped morning routine and I've been following that the past few days. I've been kind of like a few minutes off, but I've been doing pretty good overall. But it's the effort, it's the effort. I get an A for effort, okay? I've really been attempting to stick to those times. Part of improving my time management will just be like me trying to practice this routine and kind of tweak it so that it better fits the time that I have in the morning and the amount of things that I have to do. Since I've set up my reminders app, I've been religiously, religiously using the list and I can say that it helps a ton. So I used to be like a daily planner iPad girl. Um, not that I'm not that girl, well, I'm not that girl anymore, but it was really convenient or really helpful when I was in college especially or when I was in classes. But now that I'm not in classes, it's not that convenient to just like whip out my iPad. For example, like at work, I'm always carrying my phone, but it's not like I just have super easy access to my iPad or my laptop. And that's why I don't really use 
Notion that consistently either. I prefer Notion and like iPad planning for weekly planning, but everyday to-do list and daily planning, I prefer to have on my phone. And I like that it's in the Reminders app because it'll be synced across all of my Apple devices. So I'll be able to easily access this list from my phone, my iPad, my MacBook, whatever device I'm trying to use. So I'm gonna share with y'all my morning routine, not the timestamps because that's for me, but maybe this can help you create a better morning routine or kind of just give you some inspiration on how you can start your morning. I pretty much do everything in 10, 15, or 20 minute increments. So my morning moves pretty quickly. First I wake up and then brew coffee or drink greens or both. And then I have some coffee time and do my five minute journal and a quick devotion, spend some time with God, talk to him, pray, whatever my heart desires, and then prepare lunches, snacks, and chores, get dressed, wake up the baby, and then off to work and daycare. So that's kind of always been like my morning routine, except I don't do it in really every, any particular order. But the biggest change is to fit in time for journaling and for growing my relationship with God and tapping more into my spirituality and faith. I found this page on Google with two minute devotions. I think the website is like Joel Caldwell. I'm not sure if that's like a pastor or a reverend or something, but they've been super inspiring and it's a great way to start my morning. I really like the journaling that I've been doing. I created a gratitude journal from a Canva template. I just customized it to my liking and kind of, you know, changed up the words so that I wouldn't be using the exact template that was on Canva. But I really like it because it gives me the opportunity to help me learn to express gratitude and be more grateful and just cherish the small things. Cause I feel like once you start showing gratitude and just be grateful and appreciate the small things in life, then your blessings will start rolling in as long as you're consistent with hard work and prayer. Cause I just feel like how can you be blessed or receive blessings if you're not grateful? You feel me? And I'm very, very grateful for the position that I'm in and the things that I have in life. So I just wanna work on, you know, giving thanks and showing that. Right now, I'm just going over my daily to-do list and seeing if there's anything that I can check off of the list really quick, which there is. So I kinda need to get to it while Noelle's asleep and while I have some free time. And then I'm gonna get up and clean the house. I was just sitting here thinking like, am I the only person that truly thrives in the morning time? Like. Nowadays on my timeline, I see a lot of content creators that want to become full-time content creators, but like, I don't have a desire to do so. Like, I feel like I kind of need my nine to five because my nine to five gives me a sense of like stability and structure. And I just thrive every morning, waking up, doing a routine and waking up early. I like to wake up early. It just makes me feel so much better. It makes my day feel so much more productive and just kind of like, gives me a head start. It makes me feel like I'm starting my day on the right foot. So I really enjoy my nine to five and waking up and having a morning routine and being an early bird, all of that. It's just so fun. It's just the thrill, adrenaline rush. But on my to-do list today, we have check my credit card due date so that I could pay it off on time, create a follower tracker, place an espresso order for some more pods because I'm getting low on pods and to go get a couple of things from my dad's house and to talk about a business plan with my boyfriend. So I need to definitely check some of those off because they're lingering daily to-dos from the past couple of days. And then whenever I have time, I really need to do an Ulta run because I have some gift cards to use and I really want to get some things. And one of my favorite features about the Reminders app is that on a list, under a task, you can also leave notes with your note. You can set a date and a time for it to remind you about the note, a location, and then a priority level. So I do like mark some of my daily to-dos as urgent and stuff, and it really helps. And like you can set up a reminder to actually come through your phone. I don't use that feature yet, or I just haven't had a task where I needed to use that feature, but that would be very helpful, especially for like important upcoming dates, 
and appointments. In my gratitude journal, or is it my weekly planner? It might be the grat. Mm, nah, it's the it's the weekly or daily planner that I made. Um, I have a section for morning mantra. So this week's morning mantra is be productive, not busy. And the day is still pretty young. It's only 12:18. So cheers. Let's be productive. Tuna just be so good for no reason. Like that's one of my favorite snacks and lunches is tuna. Tuna salad to get that with light mayo. But I cut up some kiwi into heart shapes. I ate most of them already, obviously, but I bought like these little cookie cutter, these little shaped cookie cutter for Noel's bento box um, lunches. And snacks and some food picks and I've just been having so much fun making her like snacks and dinner and lunches plates with the food picks and making it look all cute or what and whatnot so I'll just um cut some kiwi in the heart shapes for fun what's up Noel huh to snack on a grape blackberry and blueberry little fruit salad that i made this morning um did i tell y'all that i woke up and did like my whole morning routine and everything and like right when i was getting her dressed is when i noticed she had a fever like right when we were about to walk out of the house so yeah um i fixed my lunch and everything i have fixed that tuna salad for work lunch today i'm gonna have some left over that tuna salad with that rosemary olive oil bread that i was just eating but it's like it hits so hard like it is so good fruits that are like dark in color like that blue or purplish color are high in anthocyanins which are really good um well they're antioxidants and they're good for like anti-inflammatory properties and preventing diseases like cancer and heart disease and diabetes and stuff so gotta get your fruits in make sure you're eating a rainbow okay eat something from every color eat a food that's every color red orange yellow blue green violet purple pink white any color first things first Am I the only person that just can't eat breakfast? I'm struggling with trying to make myself eat breakfast. So one of the things that I want to start doing is to have breakfast, whether it's a big breakfast on weekends, small breakfast during the work week, just something for breakfast, a morning snack, something in my stomach. I also read um, or have been seeing on TikTok, which I need to do my own research, that having coffee before breakfast is not really good for you or ideal for your health, and that you should be um, eating a balanced breakfast before drinking coffee. So, I've been making an effort to have something for breakfast, at least a morning snack, and today I made this toast 
with some butter is rosemary olive oil um bread i don't know what kind of bread i think it's sourdough or something or like french bread girl i don't know anyway this bread is really good though it's the same bread i had with the tuna salad yesterday but i just put some butter on it and i kind of wasted it because it got cold and now it's hard It doesn't have a bad taste. It's just super dry, I guess, because like it's cold. I don't know. I don't know. But I also fixed a fruit salad with blackberries, blueberries, pineapple, cantaloupe, and I think that's it. And then I have a banana um, that I'm also gonna try to eat for breakfast. And I wanna start drinking more either greens, my like bloom greens, green juice some type of healthy cold pressed juice or health shots more often so i have a few health shots at the house i get these from trader joe's or um you can get them at like whole you can really get them at any grocery store but i personally got them from trader joe's so it's the suja organic vitamin d and zinc shot i've never had this one i've only had the cherry and i think ginger shot before usually these have definitely an acquired taste so i'm nervous to see how this one's gonna taste oh yeah and i also got some matcha shots that i have to show y'all you can either take them like as a shot or make them into a matcha latte but that's a story for another day okay this one's not that bad it's a little spicy this one is actually pretty good i could get with this i need to get some more of this flavor it has vitamin d3 zinc vitamin c and live probiotics to support immune health but yeah it was actually decently good here's a close-up of the bottle in case you want to try it for yourself also trying to increase my water intake i think i already mentioned that but we're off to a good start we're 11 days into the new year and I'm just so proud of myself for trying, actually trying and making an effort to stay dedicated and consistent to my new healthy habits. And healthy habits look different for everyone. Not everything works for everybody, but I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, incorporating healthy habits into your daily life, your lifestyle, daily routine, morning routine, night routine, whatever the case may be, will make you feel so much better. So figure out what healthy habits and what lifestyle changes you can make that will benefit you and that work for you. Promise you, promise you, it'll make you feel so much better. I've always heard the saying that it takes 28 days to break a habit, but I literally just uh, looked up how many days does it take to form a habit, and it says on average more than two months, about 66 days. So, 11 days down, about 55 to go. Why does it feel like... Y'all, look at me, like... <laughs> The messy half up, half down, still got my sleepy voice. I literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago. I just washed my face and brushed my teeth. It's 7-11. Very late. I'm supposed to wake up at 6, but let me tell y'all what happened last night. So Noelle decided to wake up at like 5 in the morning. I stayed up until 5.50. So she woke up wanting some juice. And right now she only has like a stainless steel tumbler because I don't know, all of her other cups just like disappeared. But the tumbler is like broken, I think, or maybe it's just leaky, but it leaks when she lays it down in the bed and she has a habit of just laying it in the bed and then it gets everywhere. So I didn't want to give her that tumbler. So I didn't have it at my bedside last night instead I had a bottle of water and she drinks from bottles of water but for some reason she didn't want to drink out of my bottle of water she wanted her cup so I had to get out of the bed to go get her cup right and she's drinking her water and like two minutes later she's like I made a mess I made a mess and the way she says it she's like I miss a mess mommy I miss a mess so I had to get up again and get a towel and lay it down because who was about to change sheets especially for some water not me 
So I didn't even get to go back to bed until like 5.50. Mind you, my alarm was supposed to go off at 6. I mean, any super productive person would have just woken up, right? Well, not me. I'm sorry, I'm not to that point yet. I'm lazy. Those extra minutes of sleep matter, but I was like, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to wake up at 6. I'm just gonna wake up at 6.30. So 6.30 comes, and I snooze till 6.40, and then snooze till 6.50, and now here I am. I'm not mad at the fact that I woke up late, because I needed that rest so that I could function well throughout the day, and I'm going to the gym after work, so yeah, I needed that rest. It's just, I have to skip out on some parts of my morning routine, which is okay. There's always tomorrow. I wanted to film for y'all this morning just like some moments of my new morning routine maybe i should do like an official morning routine video but i kind of just wanted to show y'all some moments from this morning but of course that wasn't happening but that's all right i'll just try again tomorrow every day is not perfect every day doesn't go as planned and that is okay <sighs> not gonna stress it this is my usual like everyday workday combo, y'all. I have grown so much love for Dossier perfume. Like, Dossier, get you some. Like, that's all I gotta say. Get you some Dossier. I promise you. I was about to say it's worth the money, but it's cheap. It's cheap. Why wouldn't you try? And they have like a policy where you can try it. And if you don't like it, you can return it. But try the floral marshmallow i promise you will not be disappointed it's a dupe for the killian love don't be shy i'm pretty sure that's what it's called but i usually use this i use this every single night for one because it's such a light and like fresh powdery marshmallowy scent it just smells so good so lovely so delicious My workout was great, but let me tell you, when, when I say my groin area is so sore, it's so sore. Like, it hurts so bad, and I'm pretty sure it's because I used a glutes band today, and I'm pretty new to working out, so, you know, I kind of have to, like, work my way up, but that glutes band is, like, high resistance. Like, it, it hurts so bad, but, but I just got some dinner. I got a kava bowl and they took forever in a year to give me my bowl so like it's lukewarm and she kind of lighted me on the dressing but they were in there struggling okay they didn't have anything ready and the line was super long I was in there for like legit 20 minutes waiting on my food but I'm gonna get in a benefit of the doubt because usually they're pretty good about you know the quality of my food they might have just been struggling today But nonetheless, I'm always gonna hit. Mm -mm -mm. It's a good one. I need some chicken up there. It was either find somewhere to get a good salad or a kava, and I'm glad that I chose kava. I definitely made the right decision because earlier I wasn't really feeling eating meat today, so I was probably just going to get like a Caesar salad or something, but I needed that. That chicken, A1. I have to go to Target to pick up my drive-up order. I placed a drive-up order earlier. Sorry if you could see food in my mouth. I know like that might gross people out, but um... I ordered some poppy and olipop because I was getting low and Noella sippy cup. Is that it though? I really think that's it. I've been saying I'm going to go to the store and get Noella sippy cup all freaking week long, but I've never done it. I haven't done it because I just don't want to go inside the store. Don't want to be in public after work. I just want to go home. So I just went ahead and ordered it for um, pickup like I should have done days ago. But yeah, <clears throat> and it's more convenient. I told y'all I'm trying to work on my time management. All I got to do is pull up to the parking space, enter the number, and boom, I don't got to go in the store, look around, or nothing. Let's put on some tunes real quick. I don't know why y'all this song has had me in a chokehold. 
You too. I really need, I really need time. I need to free my mind, yeah. Okay, y'all, Afrobeat music really be hitting. Like, it puts me in a mood, like a good mood. Am I the only person that feels this way? So, like, when I play music, it brings back vivid like I mean vivid memories in my head of like moments when I was playing that song for example that brings back vivid 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 memories of when I was in Jamaica with my boyfriend and we were on the little catamaran boat tour and they were playing this song and then the boat crew member was he was vibing he was jamming like that that was just such good vibes you came up the stairs Let's make a tripod and put the phone up here. Ooh, look what mommy got you, baby. Look. A new cup. Wow, isn't he so pretty? Yeah. Yeah? No cup. That's new cup. No, ma. Huh? Up. Okay, let me show y'all what I got from Target really quick. And when I say quick, I mean quick because I'm just sitting home for the day and it's nine o'clock. <clears throat> Mommy's drinks. So I got two poppy drinks. I got cherry limeade and raspberry rose. And then I got a cherry cola olipop. This might be the one that people be saying tastes like Coke because it's definitely not the vintage cola. And then I got this cup in this little bowl for Noel. It was 50 cents, 50 cents each. So I was like, why not? She could use a bowl and a cup. And she could definitely use a new cup with a straw, a tumbler, I guess. Yeah, she needed that. But that is all I got in my Target haul this evening. I'm proud of myself for sticking to the budget, sticking to the list and not just going off of vibes, you know? I really didn't want her to get up here and start making a mess because it's bedtime. We're about to get in the bath. We're about to shower and look what she does. Makes a mess. Say, I make a mess. Say, I make a mess. Okay, come on, baby, for real. Come on, gotta get back. It's late. It's your bedtime. It's past your bedtime. Come on. I gotta eat the rest of my food. I'm starving. Starving. She's talking about don't say that. Don't say what? I've been hearing a lot of hate, or I've been seeing a lot of hate about Bloom on TikTok lately, saying that, like, it's a processed powder. Well, particularly, I saw this one video. It was like... Something about a medical student giving her opinion on like viral health products and saying like that the health girlies and health influencers were basically steering us in the wrong direction and with something on her list, one of the things on her list was Bloom. And people in the comments were dragging Bloom saying that like anytime I see someone post Bloom, I am follow them, I know you're not real, you're unauthentic. Well, I'm guilty because I once had a partnership with Bloom. But um... Basically, okay. Basically, people were saying that it's loaded with sugar and she called it a processed powder and said that it wouldn't help with bloating. But personally, I don't take it for bloating. I don't have bloating issues to my knowledge. I don't think so. Um, but let me check the sugar content real quick. I see calories, 15 calories, three grams of carbs, two grams of dietary fiber. 0.6 milligrams of iron and 5 milligrams of sodium. <laughs> Fiber blend, 1.6 grams. Green superfood blend, 1.36 grams. Pre and probiotic blend, 648 milligrams. No, 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 Noel. 
I heard it coming. I heard it coming. This is the second time that you've done this this week. I don't have money to keep buying corks. Okay, back to what I was saying. I'm gonna just have to clean later. What? Clean up, please. No. She just said no, don't say that. Clean up, please. It has a fruit and vegetables blend, 572 milligrams, antioxidant beauty blend, 550 milligrams, digestive enzyme blend, 150 milligrams, adaptogenic blend, 100 milligrams, and stevia leaf extract, 95 milligrams. Would the stevia leaf be the sugar sweetener that people are talking about? Because I don't see anything that says like sugar or added sugar. I don't know, but I'm gonna keep taking it as a supplement. I don't really take it for bloating, so I don't expect it to be like magic freaking flat tummy tea or anything. I just take it as a supplement in case I don't get enough greens. I mean, it doesn't hurt to add a little extra pro and prebiotic and antioxidant, fruit and vegetable, all that stuff blend into your diet. And look at this cute little tote bag that Bloom gave me with one of my orders. It is so cute. I could use this as like my gym bag until I get an official real cute gym bag. Bloom is good in my books right now. So I see some supporting facts that Bloom is BS. I wanna see it. Maybe I should research. How's my mouth watering? This time I got, I think, an extra pump of the pistachio sauce and also extra brown sugar, brown butter sugar. What is it? Brown butter topping? Y'all. <laughs> this latte it's just like so nutty and delicious i don't know i didn't know i needed this combo in my life i got that latte earlier this week and i just had to run it back because it's so good um and the sweet cream really does it for me like that's what really makes the drink it gives it the the little touch of sweetness that the nuttiness needs i'm doing so good on time this morning like i'm so proud of myself i have to stop for starbucks and get some gas and i'm still doing good on time yeah i should have eaten my little breakfast on the way here so that i wouldn't be drinking coffee on an empty stomach but one thing at a time okay baby steps baby steps for breakfast this morning i packed another little fruit salad i have an apple a banana and then i have some cantaloupe pineapple and blueberries my groin area still hurts from last night like i'm waddling everywhere because it just freaking hurts to walk i don't really have much on my agenda today other than work like i don't have any evening plans or anything i just had to go inside because for whatever odd reason the card reader I wasn't reading my card. I'd never go inside a gas station, ever. Touch lens immediately after. And I gotta keep it out for when I take the pump out. I got this receipt book so that I can start organizing all of my receipts, especially things that are content and work related. But yeah, I was also keeping my receipts because I wanted to upload them to Fetch. I remember mentioning Fetch in 
one of my vlogs recently but I never actually uploaded my receipts but I need to do that because if I can earn rewards and points just from everyday purchases expenses and shopping why not I want to see if it actually works but I heard it works You want some of your medicine? Yeah. Okay. We got a package, Noel. I'm so excited for this one. I ordered her a bento box, lunch box thing, and some food picks and food cutters so that I can start making her like fancy, cute little lunches or whatever. And I ordered some additional food picks. and some little dividers for her bento box. How freaking cute, like, I'm obsessed. Prepare to be sick of me. She is gonna love this. Yeah, these are bows and mini Mouse. These are little animals. She has these already, but more will never hurt. And then we got some long ones, some stars. What are these? What's wrong? Mm. What's the matter? You want to see? Yeah. You can pick one. Other than that, we're going to leave these alone. Ma'am. You already starting to make a mess? We just got home? What she trying to do? Trying to sit with mommy? Did you use the potty? Yes. My dad be, is the potty. You need to be on that toilet, little girl. You need to be on the toilet. If you could tell me that she used the potty. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's not hair. That's a freaking pillow. I was about to say, why is it hair hanging out of my phone? But it's been a long day, a long work week. My mantra for this week was be productive, Mommy. not busy. I think I did a pretty Mommy. good job with that. Yes? This week was all about working on implementing my new healthy habits continuing my old habits and trying to be more consistent and getting used to my new morning routine. I think that's going pretty well. I only was off routine two days this week. Yeah, two days this week. The one day that Noella didn't go to school and then the one, the one morning that she woke up like super early. But other than that, all was well. All went pretty good. As y'all can see, I have a lot on my hands. I need to clean the house. And I just put the fries and nuggets in the oven. I hope she eats them because they're broccoli and cheese nuggets. But hopefully she eats them still. You gonna still eat them? And then we are going to get ready for the night and head to my boyfriend's house. So... I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you for spending a productive week with me, getting our life together, forming new healthy habits. Thank you, babe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Say bye. Bye.